What's up everyone, Chris here with another video. This one's pretty exciting. Today we are checking out the 2022 Trek Merlin 5, which is awesome. We already have one here. Obviously it's already pre-sold, but we're getting a preview at it before it's left the store. So that's kind of good for anyone. Kind of look and see what's coming out and what is in store for them with their pre-order or if they're considering pre-ordering, which I would recommend. All right, let's get into this video. Three, Two, one. All right, with the Trek Merlin 5 of 2022, that's right, the next model year is already out. It's already here. And there is some huge improvements. We actually have our hands on one, so we get to look at them. Now, the perspec is as it was supposed to be i guess that's the best way to kind of word it um it's two by eight which is fantastic they've been talking about that for a couple of years covid kind of put it on hold now they finally got it out technically three years late but we're only two years past when they said it but we're a year ahead on bikes because everything's delayed i don't even know how to explain that any better but that's about it the two by eight has been improved so instead of having like a Shimano 20 on there, it does have an upgraded shifting on it, which is the Shimano Altus. So the shifting is significantly improved. It's actually pretty much the exact same shifting as the 2021 Merlin 6. I have to do a deep dive into the exact part specs of it. Um, the big difference I can see is the rear gear setup is different on the Merlin 5. 2022 to the Merlin 6 2021 you get a slightly smaller range so it might not be as useful for the mountain climbing kind of situation whereas in town you probably won't need that um, super low gear anyway it's definitely a, a thin line between the Trek Merlin 5 and the Trek Merlin 6 right now but I do suspect that the Trek Merlin 6 will go through some pretty big changes just as the Trek Merlin 5 did in the next two to three months maybe that would be my rough guess essentially i have to assume they have to sell out of all the 2021s before they release the kind of updated specs of the 2022s because otherwise no one will buy the upgraded 2020 or the downgraded 2021s anymore because the merlin fives are so close to them so it's a strategic way to go. I don't really know how to explain the big difference between the Trek Merlin 5 and the Trek Merlin 6 right now. But remember, they are different model years you're purchasing. Um, I'm sure there's a few little tweaks that I haven't noticed in like really finer details for upgradability, potentially sizings of bottom brackets and weird stuff like that. But otherwise, it's actually a pretty impressive bike now on the Trek Merlin 5. Anyway, a few other changes to it is the actual frame itself is tweaked. It does look a little different. I wish I had a Trek Merlin 5 to compare right back and forth. It looks a little sharper. It looks like they've sharpened up the edges on the on the frames. Um, the logoing is different. They've replaced and moved around some of the logos and kind of the indicators for sizings and stuff. And it looks good. It looks clean. It's easier to read. It looks simple. Um, the new font is slightly changed, kind of like that Tobey Maguire Spider-Man font. Um, it looks nice. It's clean. It's very bold, but still not too in your face. The brakes are a hydraulic disc, which is nice. Um, no change there. They're a good one. I wouldn't worry too much about it. For entry-level trail biking, the Trek Marlin 5 is actually now going to be a very capable bike. It's actually going to be better off-road than its predecessor, the Trek Marlin 5 is what I'm talking about. So I wouldn't hesitate to buy this one and purchase it. I've always recommended Trek Marlin 6 because of that shifting setup. And I really think that the Trek Marlin 5 is now a super capable trail bike. The whole Marlin series so far have done some big upgrades with the addition of the Trek Marlin 8. It's actually now created this more mountain bike friendly riding bike, which is really what everyone wants. And yes, you can still go to a grocery store. You can still go get ice cream with it. It's still really capable that way. And then it just narrows down the speedier commuters into a bike which is made for speedy commuting. You can commute with a mountain bike and you can still be pretty fast, but the efficient guys just don't even look at this bike. So why are you appealing to them anyway? Trex got rid of that and that's nice. It simplified the whole range of things. All right, so let's check out some of the bike. 
All right, so as you see there, it has the new 2x8 drivetrain, which is really clean looking. Same as what's on the Trek Merlin 6 currently, but with one little change. That rear gear setup is slightly smaller, so you won't get the super low gears on the climbs, but you'll still get a really good range to it. They still continue to the tradition of having a Trek Merlin riding a Trek Merlin on the Trek Merlin which is kind of funny. So right here you see the start of the change of logoing. Right here they've put mountain bike to it and then the type of aluminum according to Trex level. As well as you go up it you see a bit more of their logoing and sticker stuff underneath where the bottle cage was indicating what uh, category of mountain bike this is. Um, so for Trek, they put it as a class three, meaning entry level trail bike, essentially. A bit better than the dual sport. The tires are still the XR2 comp, and they are still a 29 by 2.2 sizing. So still that good amount of tread for trail riding, but not too aggressive that if you did a bit more flat country roads, or gravel that it wouldn't be um, super fast anyway. Still has all the rack mounts, which is nice. So you're able to load this up with lots of features and has a kickstand mount. So again, that really integrated one. This is a fantastic little option. We've installed tons of kickstands for it. Makes it a nice clean finish and uh, looks good when it's not got a kickstand on it too. So as you can see, the logoing is a little more bold and I think a little bigger size as well. The five, I think, is a little more visible than it previously was. Same saddle as last year, no change there. And the comfort grips lead right up to the new indicator with just two gears on that front. Another big change this year is the addition of a lockout front fork, which is really awesome to see. Um, taking that from the Merlin 6 makes it just a super capable option. This is the radioactive red color. Um, definitely has that tiny bit of hint of orange to it, but otherwise it is a very bold red color. Same internal routing cables with um, a few people saying they are not able to get internal dropper posts still on these ones which is surprising I don't see any change in the rear end to suggest that you may be able to so so I'm gonna go with my YouTube comment section here and say that there is no internal routing for a drop post again on the Trek Marlin 5 there is a ton of great external options so no big deal but it is interesting that they chose to do that all right, so this is the Trek Merlin 5 of 2022 in the radioactive color. Um, some really cool upgrades here. The price is definitely worth it. If anyone's already got these on pre-order, let me know in the comments below, or if you've already received other colors, um, I'd like to see them or hear about them. Otherwise, um, hopefully this bike pandemic situation kind of fixes itself. This is a nice bike now. It's a really good value, I think. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they do with the Marlin 6. I don't expect too much change for the 7. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe and comment below. Good luck.